where your precision has to be so spectacularly good. That's the corner. The hardest corner in the world to drive in a racing car. Um, to get it absolutely right. Casino Square, I would say, would jump into my mind of, uh, as a corner where there's always a little bit more time on the table in Monaco. A lot of the tracks now, you, you've got these big runoff areas where the jeopardy's been taken away. If you get it wrong, you can gain time instead of going to hospital. Um, so let's discard those because I don't like those kind of corners. Not that I want to see injuries, but you know, we, we want to see challenges and, and there are still some corners in the world where where you know you're pushing your luck a little bit. I mean, Eau Rouge was, very much was one of those, to an extent still is because it's just so fast. Uh, and again, they're improving that because people were getting injured and killed with unnecessary accidents. Um, but in fact, Eau Rouge is a good example where the jeopardy got taken away so much that if something happened in front of another driver, then the others all just put their foot down a little bit more. So we're talking about corners that are challenging, risky. Perhaps Degna 1 and 2 in Suzuka, I would say, where you arrive blind, the long climb up the hill through Dunlop, short straight, Degna's unsighted, and to watch from one car through there is just extraordinary. Uh, and then the second part of Degna comes up very quickly on you as well, where your precision has to be so spectacularly good. That's the corner, Degna 1, that amazing picture with Nico Rosberg, with the car kind of folded up in itself, actually, to rather underline what I'm saying, the energy that's going on through there. And if you get it wrong and you just run a little bit wide, you're off into the gravel and then second Degna will have you in the wall. You, you, there's, no, there's no way out of that. So they're the technical corners like that. Uh, a corner I find really hard to get right uh, is Corum, uh, the latest Snetterton, funny enough. That sort of never ending right that slows down a bit into a, into a small left. But some corners suit you, your driving style, if you like a bit of understeer, if you like the front sliding. Other suit other drivers if you like don't mind the back end stepping out a little bit, um, and if your car's working, then all the corners are great.